Hello everybody and welcome to this Swift tutorial and in this video we are going to take a look at sharing. So this is something that I have requested in a lot of your apps and now it's time that I also show how to do it. So in this video we're going to take a look at how a user can go into our app, see some awesome content, then click a share button and then be able to share it on either Twitter or Facebook. So that's what we are going to do in this video and I would say let's get right to it. And we start by creating a new Xcode project. I'm going to make this a single view application and I'm going to call my app Poem of the Day. So this is what my app is going to be about. It's going to be about a bunch of poems or actually only one poem. Uh, so if we head over to our storyboard, I'm just going to quickly lay out my app here. Of course, you can lay it out however you want to. I'm just going to go with my poem of the day theme here. So I'm going to drag in the label and I am going to put in poem of the day, exclamation mark drag that into the middle here. And then I'm also going to drag in a text view. So let's drag that in. And this text view is going to display my poem of the day. And this nice placeholder is going to do fine for now. So this is my app right now. It's poem of the day that shows you a poem per day. Now I'm not going to start dragging in or connecting them to our view controller. I'm just going to let it be like that. It's going to be very, very static. It's, and of course, there's one more thing that I need and that is a button, a share button. So let's type in share. We don't have to forget that. That's pretty essential if we want to enable our user to share something. And then I'm going to make the text white. That's just how I like to do it. Let's see, there we go and then drag it a bit wider and that will do for now. So here poem of the day, the poem is going to be there. A button is going to be there to trigger the share action. So let's drag in our share button into our view controller file so that we can start working with it. Button action, which is going to be off type action. And then let's just connect it up. And then I'm going to jump over to my view controller because that's all we needed to do in our storyboard. So here we have our button action func. And within this function, we are going to display an alert. And I already made a video on how to make alerts, but this time we're going to make an action sheet. So also a type of alert, but looks a bit different. It, it's that alert that comes from the bottom up and then presents you with some options. So let's take a look at how we implement that. All we do is we first of all create our alert. So let alert is equal to UI alert controller and we're going to choose this one and then we're going to specify the title which is going to be share in my case the message uh, share the oops share the poem of the day exclamation mark that day there we go and prefer style here you can choose between alert or action sheet right now i'm going to go for the action sheet then I'm also going to define the actions because now we got our action sheet, but an action sheet isn't, doesn't have much snap if we don't add some action to it. It will just be a dead action sheet. So let's add some actions. The first one, first action is going to be let, and I'm going to call it action one, is equal to UI alert action. And here we can then specify our action and I am going to do that by giving it the title. So uh, share on Facebook. And then I'm just going to, here style, I'm going to use default. For our completion handler, we just double tap here and write in action. And then we can type in our code here. So the code that we now write within this action is going to be the action that is triggered when our user clicks that option. So what we could do now is we could really, let's see, I'm just going to print success. And then I'm going to right now, that's the only thing that the action does. It prints success, add action to action sheet. And then we have our action sheet right here. I'm just going to call it alert. 
So here we have defined our alert. Here we have uh, defined our first alert action. And now we can add that action to our alert. And the way we do that is we say alert dot add action. And the action we want to add is the one we defined up here, action one. So here we have added the action to our action sheet. And now we can just present alert, which we do by simply saying self dot present view controller and the view controller that we want to present is our alert animated why not true and completion handler we don't need anything no so this is exactly as we wanted this is going to be the rough outline uh, so let's launch it now and take a look at what we have and what we should have is an action sheet that pops up when the user clicks the button and then when he clicks share on Facebook, which is our alert action, then our app should print out, uh, what should it print out? Success, exactly. So let's take a look at our app. So here's our app, poem of the day, awesome poem, I want to share it. I click on share, here we got it, share, share your poem of the day. I click on share on Facebook and what we should have is success which is awesome. This means that our uh, fundamental layout of our way of handling the share activity is working. We have our alerts up and working. Now we just have to implement the share functionality. Let's see how we do that. Well, instead of printing success, we are going to check if our user is connected to Facebook or Twitter. Uh, because as you know, in the settings, you can connect your device up to Twitter and Facebook. And we have to check if our user has done that. If he has, awesome. If he hasn't, this isn't going to work. So first of all, we have to check if our user is connected to Facebook or Twitter. Now, first Facebook in this case. So we are going to check if SL Composer, let's see. Oh, of course, first we have to import social. That's going to be our social framework that we need in order to be able to work with all of this good stuff. Then we can check if SL compose view controller dot is available and we check with if the service SL service type Facebook is available. So we're basically checking, I'm going to comment that, uh, checking if user, uh, I'm just going to has Facebook user is connected to Facebook. And if it is, we can continue on with our good stuff here. So then I'm going to create a post, which is going to be an L, uh, uh, SL compose view controller. And I'm going to add that as a, uh, so the service type is going to be again, SL service type Facebook. So we're basically stating that we want a compose view controller that is specified for Facebook sharing. We can also do that for Twitter, as you will see. If I now, as you can see, we can choose between Facebook, Twitter, Cena, Weibo, yeah, all that good stuff. But we're going to choose Facebook for now. So here we have our composer, and now we can add stuff to our composer. So this is basically we have now created a Facebook post, and now we can add different elements to that Facebook post. And the way we do that is we simply say post dot set initial text which is going to be um poem of the day now as you can see i'm just hard coding this i'm not going to uh drag any information from the actual poem of the day but of course you can do that uh extract information from your real app and then share that instead of just sharing something that you are hard coding into your code so there we have set the initial text and then we can, uh, what I'm also going to do actually, is I am going to, I prepared a nice image. So let's use that also. I'm going to drag that in, uh, copy items if needed. And then I'm simply, and what I'm also going to do is I'm going to force unwrap that so that I can remove the question mark because this is pretty uh, sure that this is going to work. We're pretty sure that this is going to work. And then I can say post dot uh, add, and I'm going to add an image which is going to be a UI image named and the name of my image is img.png.png, .png, oops, png. So here I've added text and an image um, and that is going to do for now. 
and then I'm going to simply present this um, Compose View Controller. So we have created our Compose View Controller. We have added a text to it. We have added an image to it. So we have basically created a Facebook post and now we're going to present that layout to our user. The way we do that is to say self.present and the view controller that I'm going to present is my post animated, why not, and completion handler nil. So what we have done right here is we have created a post, we have presented the post to our user if the user has Facebook, which we're checking for up here. But if he doesn't have Facebook, then we're going to also handle this. And because I know that I'm, I'm only connected to Twitter on my simulator, I'm going to uh, need a pop-up that, that shows me that I am not connected to Facebook in, on my simulator. So let's create a function for that. And I like to create mine down here. And I want to call it func uh, show alert, which is going to accept a uh, service is going to be of type string so we have a parameter um, a string parameter and within our function we are simply going to create our alert so let alert is equal to ui alert uh, controller and our title is going to be error <laughs> creative and then our message is going to be you are not connected to and then we're going to add the service that we are going to get passed when we call this function. And preferred style, I'm just going to choose, let's see, uh, alert. And then I'm also going to add an action. So action uh, is equal to UI alert, let's see, alert action, which is going to have a title that's going to say dismiss. The style is going to be, uh, we're going to choose cancel. And then I'm just going to put a nil here. So here we have our alert. We're actually doing the exact same thing as up here. We're defining an alert, we're defining an action. Now we have to combine those two, alert dot add action. And our action is named action. And then we're going to present our view. Uh, so present alert animated again why not and then completion handler no and then all we need to do right now is we need to add our show show alert and the service that we are currently working with is facebook facebook there we go oops there we go so here we have everything set up this should work and we need a self because we're within an inline closure self.showAlert and now we can launch our app again. I'm not connected to Facebook on my device so I'm going to receive this alert and then next time around we're going to add a Twitter functionality where I am connected up and then we're going to see how that looks when it actually works. So let's click on share now and I'm going to click on share on Facebook which is something I want to do. Error you are not connected to Facebook and I can click on dismiss exactly working exactly as we want it to which is awesome so now the next step is to add in the twitter functionality and as you might have guessed that is going to be pretty simple and straightforward because all we have to do let's just see if we're these uh there we go so what we need to copy is we need to copy our first action and then create some space second action and just paste it and all we have to do now is change out the variable or constant name to action two a share on twitter style default action compose view controller and here change out to twitter and also here twitter and then set initial text poem of the day Add an image, awesome, and everything here should now be fine. And then we're simply going to add it down here. Let's see, alert dot add action, and we're going to add our action two. And this should now work uh, beautifully. So let's click on play. Play. I like to say play. Let's click on play and see that everything. How's the focus? Am I in focus? 
I, I think I've dialed a little bit with those. Let's see. Hopefully. So here we have our app. Let's click on share because I want to share this poem of the day. It was a beautiful poem. I want to share it. Let's click on share. Okay, share on Facebook, share on Twitter. I want to share it on Twitter. I'm clicking on share on Twitter and I'm now being presented with what we have just created. Poem of the day, uh, location none. And I can now click on post, which I'm not going to do. Uh, but uh, this is how everything is going to look. As you can see, here's the title that you specified. Here's the image that you specified. You can also specify a URL if you want to do that. You simply say post.add and then you can add a URL like that. So you can add a whole bunch of crazy stuff. Well, actually image text and URL. But um, this is how you implement a share function. Actually, there's one more thing. Oh, that was good that I, they, that I thought of that. Uh, because we need to add one more thing here. And that is let action three, which is going to be a UI alert action. And the title of this one is going to be cancel. And as you will see, this is pretty essential so that the user can actually ex exit our alert if he gets second, second thoughts and, don't, and doesn't want to share after all. And then we just add that alert um, dot add action. And the action that we're going to add is action three. Let's just make sure that this is working by launching our application. And uh, now we should have a cancel button if our user gets second thoughts about, do I really want to share this? Uh, maybe you don't want to implement that after all so that your user has to share it. Uh, so let's click on share here. And then as you will see, now we have a cancel button can click on cancel and the whole thing disappears. So that was it for this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you are going to start implementing some share features into your app so that everyone can spread the word about your app. Now, if you enjoyed this, uh, I want to say application, but if you enjoyed this video and the application, make sure that you click the subscribe button so that you stay tuned for future videos. Other than that, thank you for watching.